Does your long synthetic wig ever look like this? A tangled mess that no matter how much you brush it, it just seems to get worse and more matted and tangled. Well, in today's episode of Cosplay Basics, I will be showing you how to repair a synthetic wig and its fibers. No matter how hard we try to keep them straight and perfect, it seems like long wigs have just the biggest tendency to tangle and start to frizz and fray. That is because the synthetic fibers start to get tugged around, and even if you are super careful about brushing, they will start to mat up with wind or just rubbing against your clothing or skin. So the very first thing is to get a wig head. The creepier, the better or just whatever suits your fancy. And you'll want a straight pin from a sewing kit and just pin it into the styrofoam wig head or whatever type of wig head that you have. Hopefully we'll be able to handle the straight pins. That will hold it onto the head so that you are able to brush it. So brush it out as best as you possibly can with a wig brush. Don't use a comb unless you absolutely have to. I have a comb here for a different reason, but that is for in a minute. But for just brushing out your wig, get a wig brush. Don't use a regular brush for your hair. Get a wig brush. And you want to start from the bottom all the way up. If you naturally have long hair, then you will understand that this is best for the hair and it prevents a lot more problems. So just start with the tangles down low. This is supposed to be a curly wig as it is, but because of all the matting and the tangling, we are just going to have to get rid of those and we can style those in later. I mean, that is best with a heat resistant wig, but maybe in another Cosplay Basics, I will show you with this wig how to create curls on a not heat resistant wig, but that is for another time. This is about restoring just to getting it at least straight and not as damaged and frizzy and matted as it is. So brush it out as best as you can. Get out as many tangles as you possibly can just with this little bit. Try to go from the back and the insides and just get it all nice. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect because like with this wig, it is just so damaged and far gone. This poor thing actually was thrown under the bed and forgot about, and then my cat found it. So it has been through a lot, but I do know for a fact that we will be able to salvage it, and it will be useful once again and not look as big of a duty mess as it is now. So just brush, brush, brush. All you're really doing with a wig brush is you will see a little bit of hair come out, but that's normally because of the matting and the tangles that you may be catching a little bit of hair that will then tear off and come with. Now that it's fully brushed out, it still doesn't look that great, does it? Nope, it still looks super damaged. Because of synthetic fibers and the way that they work, they are very elasticy, and that causes them to stretch and distort in weird little ways. So as you can see here, it just looks horrible. Well, how do we fix this? Because I don't want to cut at the top of my wig or anything, but how do I make these not as janky and all around nasty looking? The answer may surprise you. It comes from the dairy department. It is plain Jane everyday yogurt. It doesn't matter the brand, just so long as it is straight up regular yogurt. It sounds gross, but I've used this in the past with a wig that had been through everything. And by everything, I mean it had been tangled up in a rose bush, and I had stuck my head out the window and let the wind catch it. It'd been through a lot, and yet I was able to save it, and it looked pretty close to brand new because I used the yogurt trick. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to do all of this in my closet, so I have moved us into my bathtub. That way I have a nice place to use yogurt and keep it in here all night. This will take 24 hours, so just note you can't do this right before con. Give yourself some time. 
And here's where that comb comes in. I told you, this is gross. And I guess this is easy enough to explain. You just put it all over the wig. Try not to use the comb as a comb, just kind of lightly run everything through, but very lightly so that you don't tug out any of the fibers and just kind of set it into the wig. And once it is all coated, then you will let it soak for 24 hours. Oh, so gross, so gross. Why do you think one session work? Now, while you are doing this really nasty job, you may be asking, why are we even doing this? How does this even help? Well, I'm not a scientist, so I can't give you some grand answer, but from what I have heard and what I have seen from actually doing this in the past with my own personal wig, is that somehow the proteins inside of the yogurt start to form and help the synthetic fibers, not like healing them, but to straighten them out, and that will mask the appearance of the damage. So all you're really doing is giving it a nice deep straightening in a way. And why yogurt? I guess because of the proteins. I told you I'm not a scientist, so I don't fully know. I have tried with just regular conditioner because I thought yogurt can't be the answer. Answer. Probably just regular conditioner or even baby lotion. I have used all sorts of things trying to do this exact same thing, hoping that it wasn't this nasty experiment of yogurt that was the only solution. From what I have found by doing all of those tests on my own was that yogurt, unfortunately, yes, did work the best. I guess fortunately because I'm glad it works, but unfortunately because it is the grossest out of all of the methods that I have tried in the past. Conditioner does help some, but from all of the different brands of conditioners I have used, only a few of them work as well as yogurt and some of them don't work at all. So even the ones that worked as well as yogurt really didn't last as long as the yogurt repair, which is weird to say because I really thought that the conditioner would last, but it didn't seem to last as long as the wig that I used with yogurt. I don't know why. I'm not a scientist, just a cast player who has a dream and tries anything. All right, so now that is completely saturated, and I mean, some people do stick them in a giant bowl full of yogurt and soak it completely, but I have gone ahead and just brushed it through as best as I can, all of the wig as thick as I can. Now that it's all on, I am going to let it soak for 24 hours, and then I will show you how to get your wig back to normal so it doesn't look all slimy and nasty and have an odor. So with the magic of editing, let's go to 24 hours later. All right, so it's been 24 hours since this has been soaking and now it is time to rinse it off here in the shower. I'm going to keep it on the wig head and I'm just going to rinse it and try to keep all the hair as even as I possibly can so that it doesn't tangle further with the water. Let's do it. <laughs> I just use lukewarm water to rinse out as much of the yogurt as I possibly could, but obviously you are going to still have a bit of a smell. So that's why I suggest getting some very natural soap with a nice scent that you like, and then lightly, very lightly, just putting some of the soap throughout the fibers. That way it's not going to be as smelly and can also help with rinsing the wig further of any leftover yogurt. 
I also do not suggest using a comb or a brush while the wig is still wet because it can start to tug and pull at the wet fibers even more and cause a bigger headache than is necessary. And I also am trying to prevent matting and pulling some of the matting away from each other so that brushing once it is dry will be a lot easier. Now here's a tip that I really love for holding your wig head. If you don't have a weighted wig head or anything like that, I use my tripod for my camera, but instead I just have the whole of the wig head into the tilt bar of my tripod and it holds everything in place. This is great for letting it air dry or it is also great for cutting your wigs and just keeping all of the long hair exactly where it needs to be, flowing, falling nicely. So now that the wig has air dried for a little bit, we are going to use the blow dryer and we are just going to use it on a low setting with cool to warm-ish heat. So with this one, I just have to occasionally let up on this trigger to go from very cool to warm. So I will just be going through and I will also be just running my fingers through it lightly to get out some of the excess tangles before then it is fully dry and I can brush it. Once your wig is completely dry, you will use a wig brush to brush it out like you would any other time. Get out all of the tangles, starting from the bottom all the way to the top. If you do notice that you still have a bit of yogurt smell left over, maybe your soap didn't cut it, then you can use a bit of spray deodorant, just so long as you keep it far back so it won't cause any staining to your wig. I do recommend researching first on a black cloth to see how much of a stain it might leave. If it leaves a stain, I don't recommend recommend leaving it on your wig. But you can also use some perfume or you can use some dry shampoo which will also help with cutting back some of the shine, making it look a little more natural. But I very much love the yogurt technique because it seems to help to soften the hair and as you can see the damage is not noticeable at all. It looks like we got a fresh, nice, brand new wig that just needs a little bit of brushing. I hope that these tips were helpful. If they were, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this video with a friend who has that long, nasty, tangly wig that you know about. Send them this video and I will see you all in the next Cosplay Basics. Basics.